Welcome to the 11th episode of Beginner Android Tutorial Series. In this video, you will learn about how to create options menu with sub item in the action bar, just as shown in the screen. In the previous video, you have learned about changing title and adding a back button in the app bar. If not, please click on the icon above and if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. You will get the links for all episodes in this series in the description box. So let's start our video. First, we can select the icon to add in the action bar. For that, in rest folder, right click on drawable, then new, then click on vector asset. In Asset Studio, select the clip art you need. I'm selecting Notifications icon. Then select the color you like by clicking on the color icon. Then click on Choose. Now I'm changing the name, then click on Finish. To create menu in the app bar, right click on Rest folder, then New, then Android Resource Directory. In Resource type, Select menu, then click OK. Now you can see a menu folder under this. Right click on menu, click on new, then click on menu resource file. Give a file name. I'm giving as test menu. I'm selecting split mode so that we can see XML code and design same time. Inside menu, I'm giving item android colon id equals at plus id bar item 1. Android colon icon equals in double quotes at drawable bar ic underscore notifications, which is the name of icon. Then I'm giving the title android colon title equals in double quotes item 1. App colon show as action equals in double quotes if room and then an angular bracket with a slash. When you see red color for the app, click on Alt Enter. If room attribute defines that the action is only displayed in the action bar if there is sufficient screen space available. Now we can see the notification icon in the action bar. Now I'm going to create a drop down menu where we can select different items and their sub items. For that copy paste the code of item 1 and change it for item 2. And give never for show as action as we don't have to see it in the action bar but under the action bar as a list. Now paste the same code for item 3. For item 3, I am going to give sub items. For that, change the slash angular bracket to this. Before closing item, press enter and type code for sub items. That is menu, then item. Inside that, give id for sub item, then give title. Copy paste the code of sub item 1 for sub item 2. Now in main activity, override on create options menu. For that, press Ctrl O. Change this return statement to return true. Then type menu inflator, inflator equals get menu inflator. Inflator dot inflate, r dot menu dot test menu comma menu which is the argument of on create options menu menu inflator is able to create menu from xml resources now run the application and you can see in the action bar the notification icon and three dot icon on click of that you can see the items and sub items for item three to perform some task on click of these items override on options item selected by pressing Ctrl O. 
Now give switch statement for giving task for each items. Switch item dot get item ID case r dot id dot item one. Give tossed dot make text this comma item is selected comma tossed dot length long dot show. You can also give length short so that the time of toss will be lesser. Then a return statement which returns true. In the space of toss statement, you can put code for other tasks. Now copy paste this case and edit it for other items and sub items. I am changing length long to length short as to decrease time of showing the toast. Now give the default statement return super dot on options item selected in bracket item and then a semicolon. Now run the application and you can see the toast showing on click of each items. This is all about creating options menu with sub items in the action bar. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any suggestions about the video and if you need any tutorials related to Android, please comment below. Don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and here are the videos you need to watch next. We'll come up with the next video. Thanks for watching.